before watching the video don't forget to subscribe the channel and enable bell notification to never miss an update from us hello friends welcome to entry i am mirza atisham beg your quant educator and today i am going to discuss probability okay because it is a very important topic let me give you an example in sbi po mains 2017 the new trend started with arithmetic topic di and it gives di on most of the typical topics let's take an example and probability was one of them so they have already asked you about an di on probability what is probability let me elaborate you probability is nothing but sample sample point upon sample space it is a generalized term all right it is a generalized formula all right but first of all you need to understand what is sample point sample point is nothing but a event occurred all right so basically they are talking about some event happened at that place while sample space would be of all the possible outcomes okay all the possible all the possible outcomes now you will clearly see that when i tossed a coin a coin has two faces like head or tail but either one of them any one of them can come that means if you toss a coin there will be two possible cases overall two possible cases in which one event can occur at a time that means either head will come or tail will come so the probability would come as 1 by 2 and probability has a range of 0 to 1 and probability can never go beyond 1 because it will go above absolute truth all right so this is a clear idea about probability uh, and a short explanation about a probability i hope you have understood it i have taught you in the foundation course as well as in rb rrb crash course all right so let's go ahead first of all let me give you the previous homework question look at this i have given you the previous homework question and uh, let me remind you that i have taught you permutation combination all right so first of all look at it <clears throat> in how many ways can the letters of the word sooth sayer sooth sayer all right sooth sayer how many how many letters are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 all right sooth sayer 10 letters are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 all right arranged so that the two s and two o's come together all right so basically we are dealing with from 10 letters we have to separate o's as well as s so we have separated four letters and we have been left with only six letters now if we are considering all the o's as one while all the s as one that means we have been left with only eight letters okay that means what we can do is these two has to come together if these two has to come together that means the possibility will become one all right that means the factorial 8 would be of what factorial 8 would be of the arrangement of the rest eight letters if you consider o's and s as one but o will also arrange s will s will also arrange but if o arranges they are identical so i any one of them can be of any place similarly s is also identical so this will negate them so your final answer would be like factorial 8 and hence the option d will be the correct one all right let's go ahead probability look at this in any of the question probability bag or color marbles are the famous ones all right marbles or balls these are the famous questions in any ex in any banking examination has been asked look at this in bag in a bag there are six red balls four green balls and eight yellow balls okay so red will be there green will be there and yellow will be there yellow is eight green is four and red is six how many total balls are there 18 balls are there three balls are drawn at random from the bag so basically we are drawing three balls out of 18 balls so sample space sample space would become 18 c3 
what is the probability that two balls will be red while one ball will be green so we if we are talking about two balls will be red that means red will come from a total red ball so it would be 6c2 while and so the symbol of and would be of multiplication and one ball has to be of green so 4c1 now this is nothing but a event occurred and event occurred is also known as what sample point so let's use the formula of probability sample point upon sample space sample point is 6c2 into 4c1 divided by 18c3 now what we can do is we have to solve this question first of all 6 into 5 divided by 2 because 6 c2 will come as factorial 6 by factorial 2 into factorial 4 so if we take out 6 and 5 we will be left with factorial 4 and factorial 4 will be eliminated from numerator as well as from denominator and it would be left with 4 4 c1 will come as 4 while 18 c3 factorial 18 divided by factorial 3 into factorial 15 18 into 17 into 16 divided by 6 now what we can do is we have to solve them look at this 6 3 3 2 2 2 hence 4 4 <clears throat> so the final answer will come as 5 by 68 as you can clearly see it was just a matter of solution so i have given you the solution and your answer is a did you get that the same question will also be on this pattern all right let's move to the next question let's see what the next question is saying Look at this next question. The next question is based on the similar balls, similar total number of balls. So six red balls and a green four, four green balls and eight yellow balls are there. What is the probability of drawing one ball that will be neither, neither red nor green? Okay. So first of all, you should know that 18 C. All right. We are drawing only one ball in this, uh, in this question. We are drawing only one ball that means 18 c1 would be sample space okay and sample point would be they are asking about the that ball would neither be of red nor of green so red or green has been eliminated that means only yellow has been left so the final answer would be 8 c1 divided by 18 c1 8 that means 8 by 18 4 by 9 all right so option b has been correct next in a bag, six red, four greens, and eight yellow balls. What is the probability of drawing two balls of the same color? Okay, here is the condition. Six, first of all, you should know that six red is there, four green is there, and eight yellow is there. So you are drawing, in this question, you are drawing two balls. So sample space would be 18 C2, but the condition says that these two balls are of the same color. So what could be the uh, conclusion? Either these two balls are of from red color or are of from green color or are of from yellow color. So 6C2 either will be there or 4C2 will be there or 8C2 will be there. The sign of or is an optional and it will be like plus. So 6C2 plus 4C2 plus 8C2 divided by 18 c2 what we can do is we have to solve them look at this if we know the formula directly we will be able to solve question quickly 6 c2 means 3 into 5 plus 2 into 3 okay plus 4 into 7 divided by 9 into 17 now how can you solve this look at this 15 15 plus 6 21 21 plus 28 what 21 plus 28 is nothing but 49 49 and 17 nines are stands for 153 so we have found the answer and the answer is option c all right did you get that these three questions belongs to the similar type of pattern but it's a slightly change of them as well so in in your examination this kind of question has been asked frequently you just have to remember that you need to solve these kind of questions exactly on the spot let's go ahead here comes the next question look at this a speaks truth three out of four okay so it is given as a probability of a while speaking truth so if a speaks truth three out of four that means a speaks false one out of four 
So we are talking about B. B speaks truth 5 out of 6. That means B speaks false 1 out of 6. What is the probability that they will contradict each other in stating the same fact? That means either one of them has to has to tell false if someone is telling truth. So there could be a possibility either A tell truth. So B telling false or B telling truth and A telling false. So the sign of or is positive. And the probability for A telling truth would be 3 by 4 while probability for B telling false would be, would be 1 by 6. Next, the probability for B telling truth would be 5 by 6 and probability for A telling false would be 1 by 4. So the answer would be 8 by 24. Hence the final answer will come as 1 by 3. Hence your option B is the correct one. I hope you're enjoying this session. If you're enjoying this session, like it, share, comment and subscribe our channel. Let's go ahead and next question. It give a, it belongs to the number of balls. Look at this. A bag contains 20 balls marked 1 to 20. Okay. So there could be a numbering. One ball is drawn at random. Find the probability that here comes the event occurred that it is marked with the number multiple of 5 or 7. So from 1 to 20, how many numbers are multiple of 5 or 7? First, 5 would be there. Second, 10, 15 and 20. So the multiple of 7 would be 7 and 14. Because if you go beyond 14, you will be getting 21, which is not into the limit of 1 to 20. So how many numbers are there? How many numbers are there? six numbers are there so six divided by 20 hence your answer would be three by ten out of 20 numbers you will be getting six numbers which is divisible by either five or of seven so your final answer would come as three by ten did you get that i hope you got that so here comes your homework question guys i want all of you to answer me in the comment box of this video all right remember your practice will bo will be boosted once you start practicing with me all right because i'm telling you in an organized method so remember that you have to focus okay if you want uh, more questions you can give rrb rank booster quiz daily at 10 am 15 questions for 15 minutes and the most important thing is link of this video link of this rank booster quiz has been given in the description of this video okay go there subscribe a youtube channel share like comment and most importantly start studying because examination is near remember that and you will be getting entry app from google play store remember that okay so till then guys thank you when we meet in the next class we will solve some mind-blowing questions